Man, check this out, how I caught the We Trade group early um, in a super dip that it was in, right? Who else is going to show you this? Check this out. And yeah, this is simulated. I wasn't able to find anywhere where I could invest directly into them. So there's that. Yep, yep, yep. Sell 90, yep. That's it. That's the one, so. Yep, yeah, market open. Yep, yeah, market open, so. Um. Also, they have in the news. Well, I'm not sure if they have it in the news, but I've been paying attention to IDX. I don't know what it's going to do, but that's such a low. Yeah, so you see that? Man, as long as it's above a penny and, and, it's, uh, and it's listed on NASDAQ or whatever, it has a so much time until you know it's either gonna be above a minimum bid price or just be delisted all together right um and there's so many of these companies now that's doing that and going through that right now so you want to ask yourself which ones would have more to lose? Which ones, you know, seem like they've been doing pretty good business and just, like, fell in hard times? Which ones had the will to survive in the marketplace? That's what you're looking for. Um, so let's check that out. Yeah, I got a Weeble account now, man. I definitely do. So, what we want to look at is... Um, you know, if I want to look there. Let's look. Yeah, they got a screener, man. Ain't this nice? All this time, people have been recommending... Uh, Weeble, and I don't know what I was on, but I'm glad. Um, I'm really glad I got in when I did. All right, and name in the game is buy low, sell high, right? I'm not sure why. It... Okay, boom. Well. So we got everything, we got everything. Uh, NASDAQ, I don't know about the MX. This is all live, man, this is all live. Nobody is talking about any of this stuff, man. They wanna keep you in the dark. I don't want you to know none of this. I think that deserves a like, right? The book value is super minimal. Super minimal. That's crazy. I don't know if that means that's like closer to zero or that means that it's closer to like being positive or whatever. This is all very, very interesting to me. But notice that the operating income is not negative. Notice that as well. So let's, let's see what they're about. I don't know who's invested in them. <laughs> this will look like anybody is invested into them. Nobody at all. And it's 
Israeli trading at warrant prices. This is interesting. I wonder why that is, though. Hmm. But you know why I like it? Because I know that some of these companies, they have the wherewithal to withstand the test of time. Like, look at, you know, stocks like Adobe. Everybody knew about Adobe and PDFs and uh, Photoshop and all of that. But in its infancy, you know, who who was believing in it? You know, it basically just had to get to work and stay at work. And that's what it did. So as a matter of fact, let's check out Adobe and its infancy. Let's go all the way back. Back in the 80s, it was a dollar. Okay. Ain't nobody telling you none of this. Back in the 80s, when inflation was this and inflation was that, Adobe was a dollar. I don't know if they came out with the PDF and Photoshop and software and services and Adobe Suites and whatnot. I don't know. And this is all under $5, though. This is insane. Okay, what was it doing after the dot-com bubble? Oh, man, it was cooking. Okay, we went all the way up, right? So it's just to show you, man, in these uh, so-called tumultuous psalms, and get in where you fit in. Get in where you fit in, and don't let, don't even let the pink sheet scare you. You know what I'm saying? Uh. Get them like a dollar, two dollars, whatever. <clears throat> you know, somewhere where it's not hurting your pockets or anything. Just get in. You know, and you'll be in control of a company. You have multiple shares, dozens of shares, if not hundreds of shares of a company that's trading currently at almost 500. Almost 500. And topped out at 700. That's 700 right there. 699.54, 700. Stop playing. No, you don't have anything to lose, man. But what if I just tweaked the little scanner, right? If I just tweaked it a little bit, just a little bit. their money pretty decent. Oh, this is positive. Ever heard? 
higher than any of these. Probably not. And some of them that's uh, trading over a million on. Trading over a million on. So you're not in the loan. Look at this one. That's a warrant. This one right here, that's a warrant. Nobody even never told you about warrants, man. Like. You got the wrong idea on warrants. <laughs> Everybody seems to be trying to get in on that one. Yeah, it's a decent operating they call them, right? And it's undervalued on its uh as far as its book value is concerned. Series six M as well. I was really paying attention to Series six M too. I didn't even know that it's uh it's considered a penny stock right now. Who would have knew? Series X M penny stock. Under five dollars. Let's go. No excuses. At least that's what they say, right? Man, you got all the excuses in the world to pile into some of these, man. If you can't, if you can't do nothing else, get one. Like, take me for example, right? This one I got. Mm, I ain't gonna do that. <laughs> Not even gonna do that. It's not really in the way. It's so my hole. It's whatever. I'll probably show it later or something. I don't know. But yeah, with stuff like this, I can't get too mad at Weibo, man. Look at this. Let's see what BlackRock is doing. Let's see what Kathy Woods is doing. Kill more Buffett's tone. Man, what? Let me get off of here, man. Y'all playing.